Well, it's easy for organizations to virtue signal around uh, sustainable resources, you know, coal, uh, solar, wind, things like that. In many cases, they're tougher to execute. And in many cases, they can't find all the power they need to even, you know, power a fraction of their data center needs now in 2025. And certainly if they're moving to a significant bigger AI footprint, and these things are going to need specialized processors that use a great deal of power, they have no hopes of, of running uh, sustainable energy sources in powering that stuff. So they moved away from the concept. In other words, where they used to talk about their uh, green uh, initiatives, uh, things like that, uh, that's not the case anymore. They're, they're just basically talking about where their technology is taking them. And it's interesting how that happened. And we're going to talk about that here. So companies are turning back to fossil fuels for reliable power as renewables can't meet AI constant constant energy needs. Huge, huge uh, uh, electricity capacity is going to be needed to drive these things. And they realized early on that there's not enough renewables. The technology isn't baked enough where it's basically going to put enough energy on the grid that's really going to make a difference. And so people are talking about other directions. They're quietly you know, moving their power consumption over to coal and over to, you know, other, you know, other fossil fuel energy sources, and then putting things on the radar screen that may not have been on the radar screen five years ago, such as nuclear energy, and how that's supposed to basically provide us with enough energy and also a lower carbon footprint. And that's where we are right now.